With pickleball on the rise in our community, today on the front page, we are learning the steps it takes to play the sport. Come in, we, we go, yeah, we okay. coming in. Okay. Then we gonna square back up. All right, so here okay. we go, ready? Step back, okay. boom, now, splash. Yes. So what inspired you to come out here and start teaching um, pickleball? Well, you know, it's a combination of things. For me, it begins as uh, a passion for youth mentoring and youth advocacy. Mm. I love the children. I feel like the children need to be engaged, especially in these times where most of them are on cell phones and in front of, you know, Facebook, Instagram and such. Right. You know, get them outside and get them playing again. Also, it has to do with the sport. Sport is very transformative. It's a life-changing sport. Mm. It's put me in places in front of people that I would never generally even known, mm. uh, people sure. that I would never sp uh, talk to. Uh, it breaks a, uh, the demographic. The demographic is very wide. So, you know, pickleball is a type of sport where I, I, I'm 48. I know I don't look a day over 20. <laughs> be that as it may. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? But be that as it may, I got my butt whipped by a 74 year old dude playing 74. singles. That's the power of the sport. That if you get the game down pat, you can mm -hmm. be compete at any age. Mm. Um, just recently, there was a, a father and son duo. Uh, I don't know how old the pops was. He was a little old timer. Okay. But the son was 15 years old. They won wow. gold medal at 5-0, which is right below pro. So that's uh -huh. what's special about pickleball is that there's no ageism here. Uh, there's just so many barriers are broken and so many opportunities to meet wonderful people. So, yeah, that's, that, those are some of the impetus for me to come out and do it. And with a dream and a goal that big, um, were there any challenges with putting this together? Well, you know, there's always a challenge with a, with a new location. So we're, right now we're still trying to get people to come down, check it out. Mm, um, yes. it, also, sure. to be quite frank, you know, the particular demographic that I represent, urban demographic, mm. you know, we're a little slow in certain sports. Like, you know, like, uh, pickleball, what's that? You know, that's how I was when I first heard about it. I was like, yeah. pickleball, what? Nah, that sounds crazy. <laughs> I'm not messing with that. Yeah. But ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but what ended up happening is, you know, when I had the experience, so what we wanted to do is just put a, a, another face on the sport, uh, you know, get people more engaged. I Man, I can't wait to see what some of these young kids in the hood start doing with this game. I can't see, I, I can't wait to see what, what, what a lot of young people just did to touch it and, and to have that experience because pickleball puts you in front of people that you just wouldn't know. Right. We're at the Leslie B. Price Senior and Youth Center. It's a wonderful location, fantastic facility. It's brand new, and they got wonderful leadership in the form of Sam mm -hmm. and Stephanie. They, they're just doing a great job, and they're being very innovative and uh, just trying to find new things and new ways to engage. And I just had a wonderful opportunity meeting them and getting to work with them. I'm excited. Excellent. And um, how has the turnout been? Or what's your vision or goal for the future of the turnout here with the game? It's growing. And we're excited. Yeah. We're hoping over the next you know, month or so that we get a nice, good you know, amount of young people engaged. Because once you get them, once you know how to play, uh -huh. you're hooked. Okay. Pickleball. It's about position, uh -huh. placement, right. precision, power. We'll be right back after a message from our friends at Crescent Automotive. Everyone's a welcome guest at Crescent Automotive. We're Aiken's Choice Award winner four years in a row. That probably has a lot to do with our low upfront windshield pricing and no additional processing fees. Remember, everybody drives Crescent. You should too. Welcome back to the front page, a living museum. Tickets are on sale for the Aiken County Historical Museum Summer Lecture Series. The Sunday at the Museum Lecture Series is taking place in July and August. Investments in our people will have the greatest returns. Enterprise Holdings Foundation's gift will support USC Aiken's Office of Career Services. The Foundation's donation will support with the addition of a career mentor who will assist the Pacers in mapping out their careers. In our Aiken City Council election update. The filing period has opened for the City Council elections, which are for Mayor, District 1, and District 3. The last day to register to vote in the general election is October the 7th. To read more about these stories, please visit AikenStandard.com. I'm your host, Michelle A. Jackson, and I will see you next time on the front page.